should return it up. It should return up as high as it should go, Joe. Yeah. Yeah, put it maximum heat. It's one minute. Ooh. Most excellent. It started a minute and a half. One and a half is best. One and a half ounces? Mm -hmm. The other thing, I think you turned the heat up as high as it went. Yeah. You put a propeller on that, maybe it would take off. Yeah. Doubt it. You, you can make a hovercraft. Good. There is a constant supply of water to that. Oh, a and constant that, supply of that, water? That was already heated. How would you do that? Like, do the thing with... I don't know. Um. Mm -hmm. Is that about the fastest we've seen it go? Yeah. About. Good job, you guys. Wow. From design all the way to implementation. Yeah. What you should do is maybe get a picture of the Huron's original drawing. Yeah. So maybe a brief explanation. Mini poster war or something? Yeah. Mm -hmm. so. The whole thing is shaken. Stand back. Whoa! I hope we found its natural resonance frequency. Yes. The wobble of the, the stand. So how long do you let it go? Well, when you think about how much water there is in there and how little steam is actually escaping, I think the conversion to steam is actually relatively mm -hmm. slow. Down as soon as the pressure lessens because there's less water. We did see a couple of these on the internet where they had to shut it down quickly because all the soldering joints were melting. Something's flipping off of there. Is that water or is that soldering? Did something metallic uh, came off of that? Yeah, that's solder. Let's turn it off, okay, to you. Turn it off quick. No, pull it out from under it. Use a toast. Did that bottom bearing move? Yeah, I think, I think so. so. It, the middle was flipping oh, off a bit. There it is, the bottom bearings toast. Oh. Okay. Well, we got good footage of it. All right. So it might be that we just. <laughs>